who still has their Christmas tree up? I wanna know. I don't wanna be the only one with my Christmas tree still up. I was thinking about leaving it all the way up until February. Look at that dunk, dunk. I love ranch and pizza. Mm. This is the best pizza I've ever made. Do you see how bubbly and airy it is on the inside, you guys? And it's crispy. Sorcery. Sorcery is what I just did. Let's do a close up. Let's do another close up. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, you guys, we are going to jump right into this. I'm not going to talk too much in this intro because I pretty much tell you guys the whole process of like my bread making. So I'm not going to say very much in this intro. But if you do have questions, please leave them below. I always try to get to every question that is asked of me when it is regarding food. Um, so feel free to leave a comment. Um, this is pretty straightforward and I will chime in later. So in this recipe, you guys, I did not have olive oil. Feel free to use olive oil. You use olive oil more for the taste, not for the texture. So what I did, what I went ahead and did was add grapeseed oil. That is my favorite type of oil right now. I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with it. So I use grapeseed oil in my dough. Feel free to use olive oil for the flavor and also feel free to um, half the water intake or half the water in this recipe and substitute half of it with beer i always do that if i have it on hand it makes another like just a level of flavor that you'll love i promise and during this whole dough recipe you'll see that i'm like i said i always add as i go to kind of help me with the type of consistency i want and i wanted a sticky consistency i don't normally do that with pizza dough but this time i wanted to uh, because i was playing around with it and it just turned out absolutely perfect it was crunchy and airy and chewy everything you'd want out of a pizza dough so i highly recommend doing it this method if you're um looking for those qualities in pizza and when you guys see me like pull it it's still sticky i didn't put my hand in because i i had already did that and it got all over my hand so i used a spatula so you can't really see how sticky it was but it was quite sticky and then i cover it and let it rest um i want to say about an hour and it tripled in size and i actually almost overproofed it And then I deflate it and then I ball it up again and put it, put the dough ball back into the bowl and then I put it in the fridge so it could do kind of like a slow rise because I was doing other things, trying to time out everything. But if you're doing this without filming, of course, you can deflate it and then divide it and then just go ahead and make your, your dough. But if you're like trying to not do it immediately, just put it back in the fridge and it, it, it will be fine. It won't rise as fast. And I even recommend doing this dough like two days ahead of time because it even it, it creates even more of a beautiful texture if you do that. Uh, but you know, we're, we're doing this off of a, a whim. And while it's in the fridge, I'm gonna start on all the other things that I have. So I'm gonna be starting on the pizza. I'm gonna be starting on the pizza sauce, my marinara sauce, whatever you wanna call it. 
I decided to take um, about four garlic cloves and a half of an onion and put it in my little, um, my little, what is this called? My little mixer. It's all beat up, busted up. I've had it for so long and I'm still rocking with it because it, if it ain't broke, well, it is broke, but it still works. So I'm still gonna continue to use it. Um, so I just throw that in, dice up a half or roughly chop a half of an onion and I throw that in there. And the reason why I wanted to do that for this pizza sauce is because I didn't want large chunks of onion. And secondly, when you do your onion like this, your onion just releases all of its juices and it adds another level, another level of flavor. And then after I mix that up, I take one of those large can of crushed tomatoes. My can opener is also old and busted, but it still works, so I still use it. And then I'm just gonna put a little oil in my pan and saute up the onion and garlic mixture until it's cooked for about like two to three minutes. my spices <clears throat> these spices are optional but I highly highly recommend it actually you know what no they're not optional you got to put these in this pizza sauce was so freaking good you guys so 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 good um, so what I did was garlic powder onion powder oregano basil parsley red chili flakes um, and these were all dried because that's what I had on hand. Uh, obviously, you can do fresh if you have these ingredients fresh. What I'm going to say about two teaspoons of each, maybe for that large can, I'd say roughly about two teaspoons for each. I will try to link that down in the description. Sometimes when I don't link stuff, you guys already know that is because um, I didn't get the exact measurement and I don't want to put something in the description if it's not correct or accurate. And so I mix that in and then I add fresh ground pepper and some salt with a tablespoon of sugar. I didn't actually mean to put a tablespoon of sugar. I just kind of dumped it in there and went with it, I guess. Um, it was, it came out amazing though. It came out so good. So I definitely highly recommend this. And then I let it simmer until all of the water or all of the moisture was out because when you're making pizza, you don't want wet marinara. I don't personally want a wet marinara because I feel like it makes my pizza soggy. And then after that, I'm going to make my garlic butter mixture for the bottom of my pizza. This is something that I like to do. I used to do it a lot when I worked in the restaurant and I made um, flatbread. I would make this mixture and I'd put it on the bottom of my pizza and, or I put it on the bottom of my flatbread and people loved it. So I basically do like garlic butter that you put on garlic bread three-fourths of a stick of a butter and then I'm gonna do some minced garlic and you guys I got my knife back so hello leave some knife emojis right now I got my knife back from the knife doctor I'm gonna talk to you guys about this in the next video but I got in trouble the knife doctor he got on me he was a little upset with what I did with my knife I will get into that into the next video because I totally forgot to bring it up in this video um, but I got my knife back so hooray for that leave some knife emojis uh, anyway, getting back on topic. So I mince up some garlic, what was it, like three or four cloves I had, and then I'm do some dried parsley flakes and grapeseed oil. I try to add like like a one to one ratio as far as oil to butter goes, like when it's melted.
and then I just pop it in the microwave for about like 30 seconds until it's all melted. And then I set that aside and then I'm gonna start my ranch really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I think I did about a cup, three fourths to a cup of mayonnaise, half a cup of buttermilk, And then I add some droplets of Worcestershire. I really like Worcestershire in my ranch. Um, it just, it creates that bite that you're looking for. Like two to three tablespoons of vinegar, not that much, maybe, you know what, no. How about two tablespoons of vinegar? And then I added a little sprinkle of salt. And then each one of these seasonings, you guys see that I add a very little amount. You might think that you want a lot, and trust me, you don't because it will come off very strong. I have done this before. I've added too much of these seasonings and it becomes off very powerful. So do like a teaspoon of each of these items, you guys. And what I did was chives. I did dill. I did a teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. I did fresh ground pepper, just like, like a couple cracks of that. I mix it up and then I tried it because like I say you guys always need to try as you go because if you don't try it then you won't know what what you need more of or what you want less of and then I felt like I needed more vinegar I'm always like that I always feel like I need more vinegar because I love vinegar in my ranch I love that combined with Worcestershire it just really adds a bite for me and then I ended up adding parsley because I totally forgot it so a teaspoon of parsley and a little bit more vinegar and a little bit more chives and it was perfect perfect to my liking like I said I will leave it in the description so you guys have like kind of a base I promise you, once you make this ranch, you won't need store-bought. I 100% promise you. This is like pizza store ranch. Let's marinate. So now we're going back to the pizza dough. I'm pulling that out of the pan and I'm just gonna half that. Um, this makes two, I would say, I would say two medium pizzas. Depending, well, I guess that would be depending on how thin you roll it. I like my crust thin. That is just personal. I like the crunchiness of crust. So I made mine um, a little bit more on the thin side. Obviously, if you don't want it on the thin side, of course, just don't roll it out as thin. So I just kind of like ball it up and then let it rest for like another five to 10 minutes. And so now I'm going to start forming my pizza. I did not roll it. Um, I feel like when you roll it, you just kind of like take all the air out. I know I've done that before, um, just more of it as in like trying to be in a rush and kind of get it perfect. Um, but this one, I wanted to take my time and actually use my fingers to kind of um, round it out. And then I just add a little bit of flour. I don't add too much flour because like I said, I don't want to keep adding flour into the dough because then it can make it very dense. And so I tried to stay away with adding too much flour when I'm rolling it out. So I just kind of work with it until it, I get it to the size that I like. Like I said, if you want it more on the thin side, do it how I did it. If you don't, don't roll it out so much like I did. And then I just transfer it over to my pizza screen, which was the best invention. Whoever came up with the pizza screen, it's perfect because you don't need a pizza stone. You don't need anything fancy. You just pop it on your pizza screen and put it in the oven at the bottom rack and it crisps up your crust. Perfect. You guys will see that in the mukbang part when I'm actually biting into it. You can just tell like at the end, it's just nice and crispy and chewy and just delicious. So after I fit that to my pizza screen, I'm going to start adding all my toppings and I'm going to put the garlic butter spread at the bottom. I forgot to put it on afterwards after I cooked it, but that's okay, you guys. Um, just remember, like if you want to add a little buttery crust, put some on after you take it out around the edge 
so I spread that around and I'm being very gentle with this because you don't want to like be rough with your dough you don't want to rip it and then after that I add this very beautiful marinara it came out so beautiful you guys like beautiful so I try to go a little heavier on the sauce um, because I explained that in the mukbang part but I try to go a little heavier on the sauce and it was perfect it was it was absolutely just perfect And then I'm gonna be putting my cheese mixture. This is a mixture that someone hooked me up with from a restaurant um, that they work at and it is a mixture of asadero, mozzarella, and maybe parm. I wanna say about eight ounces of cheese. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at math, but I'm pretty sure it's about eight ounces of cheese. And then I also put some Tillamook cheddar on there because I love Tillamook cheddar. And I just kind of wanted some varying flavors because there isn't very much flavor in low moisture mozzarella, I found. So I put the Tillamook cheddar cheese. And then I just baked that in the oven at 425 um, for about, I baked it in the oven for about 10 minutes. And then the last five minutes I turned on my broiler so that it could get the nice like the cheese at the top like nice and crispy and browned um and it turned out perfect you guys uh, i'm not gonna say too much because i'm out of time but if you guys enjoy this if you guys are still here leave me some cheese emojis if you guys are still here and i will see you guys in the mukbang part um i just uh uploaded I just uploaded the in and out the uh, making Stephanie Sue's favorite meal. You guys love that one and I'm so happy. I did get a new camera, I did get a new lens. I'm trying to step my game up 2020, uh, but my mic was off. And I actually just got a comment and somebody was like, you should just throw your mic away. I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna throw this mic away because it was actually kind of expensive. So I'm just gonna figure out what to do with it. I don't know, it just gave me a lot of problems in like post-production. So anyway, as you guys can see from the title, I am doing a Steven Sushi favorite. You guys saw when I did, um, I'm out of breath. <sighs> Cause you know, running around at the last minute. You guys saw when I did Ari's Appetite, um, her brother, if you guys do not know, you are sleeping if you don't know who she is or you don't know who they are together, Steven Sushi or Ari's Appetite. But when I did that video, you guys said, well, I should do his favorite meal. So I am doing that today um, and that's cheese pizza. I didn't do, I didn't do wings because I've been hinting at doing a wing stop feast. So I'm gonna leave the wings out of this one. Um, I normally see that he gets, he gets, um, Buffalo wings? If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, and if you're watching this, let me know. But I heard through a little birdie through another YouTuber named Vartan Fresh. I love saying his intro, it's like my favorite. I noticed that he said in one of his videos that he gets extra sauce. So that's what I tried to do today. And um, I got the ranch. I got the ranch, y'all. Should I leave it, in, should I just leave it like that? Here, let's move it over. Let's make sure we have, yeah, I'm gonna leave it like that. I was actually gonna pour it into a different container. I'm gonna get some water. You guys know my water machine is like right here. Okay, so let's get into this. It is extremely hot. I just pulled it out and I cut it real quick. Um, so, give you guys an up close of that pizza. It's a little bit on the thin side because I don't know. I guess I wanted to and look at the, Look at the back for all my cheese slides off. That is perfect, you guys. This is my first time trying a pizza screen. So let's try to get 
a said thumbnail. I love when people get their thumbnails on. All right, let's get this first bite in. Bunch of ranch. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh, let me get my face out of the way. <laughs> wow. Mm. I also got some hot sauce here. Because what's pizza without hot sauce and ranch? Oh my gosh, I didn't even say welcome back. I didn't say, I'm, I gotta start practicing. Welcome back, Lou Crew. I have to start practicing that. Y'all get on me. Make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. Can you guys hear that crunch? I'm gonna bring you in closer. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I swear to you, I think it's because I got a new camera. I gotta step my game up. Mm. Oh my. Y'all, holy oh, shit. Hopefully I'm somewhat in focus. If you guys watched yesterday's video, then <clears throat> you know, I actually, I actually almost pulled that video down, the in and out video from yesterday, or when are you guys gonna be seeing this? Tomorrow or today? Uh, well, either yesterday. <clears throat> I almost pulled down the in and out video because the audio was so bad, but by the time I had put it up and noticed how bad the audio was, this is what happened guys. When I was editing my video in post-production, I changed some of the audio. I was playing with the audio, but when I uploaded it to YouTube, the audio completely changed. If you are a YouTuber and you're watching this video and you know what I'm talking about, please DM me or please like leave a comment because I don't know why that happened. I was so like devastated because I had already put the video up and I was like, I could take it down. I'm even still thinking about taking it down. I'm still thinking of taking it down. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that sweet, sweet goodness. Look at that dunk, dunk. I love ranch and pizza. Mm. This is the best pizza I've ever made. Mm, 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 mm. Guys. Little hot sauce action. Mm, mm, mm. I'm making a second one for my sweet baby Aiden. He is at school right now, but I'm gonna make him a cheese one, you guys. He is going to love this. I cannot wait. I cannot wait for his reaction. Oh, I feel very hot. Mm, mm. I also got <clears throat> this habanero sauce. You guys know I'm obsessed with. 
Oh my gosh. I shouldn't put it in the ranch because I know, well, maybe I should. All right. Okay, I'm gonna drip it on that one because that's the one I'll eat. Mmm, God. This is like heaven. I swear to you, if you make this tonight, family night, Saturday night, Friday night, Monday morning, I don't care what day you make this. Oh my God. Let me try to show the inside. Do you see the inside of that? <clears throat> Let me try to get my face out of the camera. Do you see how bubbly and airy it is on the inside, you guys? And it's crispy. Sorcery. Sorcery is what I just did. Mmm. Um, this right here, where has a pizza screen been on my whole life? I never thought to put it on a pizza screen. It's perfect because what I did, which I'll probably, which I will probably be explaining in the mukbang part is that I uh, picked this up from Walmart for like four bucks. And what I did was, is I put my rack at the very, very bottom of the oven so that the bottom could crisp up. And the back of it is perfect. Let me, I'm gonna try. Turn this around because I got ranch on one of them and I'm about to eat that one. Where is it? Right here. Right here. Whoa! Yummy, yummy. Dip, dip, dip. Mmm. Oh my word. That is so good. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Just a quick little, if you guys don't know who Steven Sushi is, you're asleep. He's like the OG of mukbang community. I'm gonna have him linked in the description, but y'all, whatever you say, if you know him, you don't know him, Whatever you, if you like him or you don't like him, you cannot deny one thing that he be making your ass hungry as hell. He always makes me so hungry every time he eats in and out every time he eats uh, the Domino's pizza or any kind of pizza he eats with the ranch, my mouth is watering. Five guys, I love when he eats. I pretty much love when he eats everything. It's like, he makes it, he's like the, he like makes, takes like all the perfect bites. He's great, he's amazing. I freaking love his channel. Ari's appetite, I'm gonna give her another shout out because I love her too. Um, I love them and I just love, I need to, I have so many like mukbangers that I wanna shout out, but I feel like, like I don't wanna like all glob them up together, but getting, I, I like to go around the mukbang community and even though I'm not leaving comments, I'm watching you guys. If you are in the mukbang community and you're watching this video, just know that I'm watching you guys. I try to leave comments on just a widespread of people's videos. Um, yeah, there's too many people to shout out in one video because I'm basically forgetting, but uh, just know, like I'm always, I'm always like around in the mukbang community, just watching these videos, making myself hungry. <sighs> okay, that was enough talking. That's my problem, y'all. I'll be talking too damn much. My back, the back of my neck is sweating. I think I'm sort of in focus today. Am I in focus? Could be. Could be more dunkage, more dunk action. Mm, 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 mm.
I love this habanero so <gasps> I forgot the jalapenos. Mm. That habanero sauce is so spicy. Mm. I hope my audio is recording. I'm gonna be so sad if it's not. It's recording. It's recording. Try to get my mic in there as close as possible. Yeah, that was a rip yesterday, y'all, with the with the audio. I feel I feel super bad for that because even right now I want to take down the video, but <clears throat> I feel like it's already been up for too long. I keep dancing. Mm. I talked to you guys a little bit yesterday about having Aiden back on the channel. <clears throat> And I'm very excited to have him back on the channel, but I keep getting like mixed comments on having kids on your mukbang channel. Um, it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous because like somebody said that Ari's appetite had did it. And I do remember that where she had, she had her daughter cupcake, which is, she's so cute. She had her on the channel and then they disabled her comments. So maybe I should reach out to her, but I hope like nothing like that happens. I, I just don't know why YouTube would do that. And especially since the comment section is such a big, the comment section is such a big part of like YouTube just engagement. So I would not want to be, I wouldn't want to get my comments disabled for having um, Aiden on the channel, so. Close up shot, close up shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. No. I was hungry too. Now I'm getting full. You already know the deal. I'm probably talking too much in the longer I've been recording 20 minutes. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I don't know how to dance. I don't know why I'd be trying to dance. Mmm. So, I'm gonna wrap it up there. I'm getting so full. I really feel like this is some takeout pizza. Do y'all see how beautiful this pizza is? Let's do a close up. Let's do another close up. Look at that, look at that. Beautiful, just beautiful. Beautiful. God damn. You guys know my teeth are sensitive. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I am gonna wrap it up here, you guys. That was super delicious. And again, another huge shout out to Steven Shu. Blah, blah, blah. Another shout out to Steven Sushi. Um, he is definitely one of my, he's one of my favorite mukbangers. So I was super happy to do this video. Um, aside from that, I'm gonna wrap it up. I gotta go get my baby from school. Ooh, 217, 217, 217. All right, and let me know. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Do you want to try this? Do you not want to try it? I don't know. You should try it though. You should. Okay. Let me. This shirt is hot as hell. Hot. Who, hey, who still has their Christmas tree up? I want to know right now. Do you still have your Christmas tree up? 
why am I like stumbling all over my words? I had two Red Bulls today, that's probably why. But <clears throat> who still has their Christmas tree up? I wanna know. I don't wanna be the only one with my Christmas tree still up. I was thinking about leaving it all the way up until February. Is that like normal? Do people do that? Let me Tell me what you guys do. Do you guys leave your tree up? Should I be feeling bad? Or should I be like, all right, cool. Y'all leave y'all tree up too. I don't want to feel that bad. Uh, I know some people leave their tree up like all year round. All right, I'm gonna stop laughing. This is what Red Bull does to you. It's like, mm -hmm. anywho, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm super glad you guys stopped by. And if you guys are still here, leave me some pizza emojis. I stopped saying the secret emoji at the end, but I'm bringing it back. So stay tuned. Leave me some pizza emojis if you guys are still here. I love you. I love you so much.